there is a possibility that my fish might die. All right, guys, so I'm getting a little worried. Ooh, 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 ooh. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. You got this, you got this. What's going on, everybody? It's Master Aquatics, and I'm just bringing you guys another video. So I'm finally doing the video that I've been holding off on doing for the longest time because I'm really scared to do this video. I really don't want anything bad to happen to my baby tarpon. A lot of you guys keep pointing out that there's this weird thing on his face, and you guys don't like it. I don't really mind it, but for many of you, it's not too pleasing to the eye. And the store owner told me that this was merely cosmetic. It was not life-threatening to him at all. A lot of you guys think otherwise and I finally decided to get some clove oil to prepare to do this surgery for this guy all right guys so I just want to quickly go through the setup what you need what I will be using personally you're gonna need like a small bucket just like this you're gonna need airline connected to an air stone connected to an air pump just like this I'm going to leave a link in the description for all of these items you're gonna want to turn it on and have the air stone running in this container by the way the water that's in here this is water straight from the aquarium that the fish is in right now and all this green stuff in here this is called duckweed I didn't put it in here intentionally you don't have to put duckweed in your tub if you're going to do this as I was draining the water from the aquarium I got some of the duckweed in here but it's not going to make a difference at all matter of fact it might even help just a little bit in case I put too much clove oil in here second thing you're going to need is you're going to want to use a damp towel this is where I'm going to be laying the fish after it passes out and next thing you're going to want is some tongs like this you probably don't need this I'm going to use this to hold the mole and while I hold it with this I'm going to be using some plant trimming scissors like this you can use regular scissors if you want to I highly recommend you use something really sharp like medical scissors but I'll leave a link down in the description for these items as well the most important thing that you are going to need is some clove oil and the brand of this is called now now you're not going to find this at Walgreen CVS Walmart you're gonna have to go to a vitamin store I went to GNC and I managed to pick this up for eight dollars or you can order some online off of Amazon I'll leave a link down in the description for this as well if you guys open this please do not sniff this directly it's very strong they might make you nauseous one of the uses for this is to humanely euthanize your fish meaning killing them without them feeling pain if you put a lot of clove oil in the container or you can put a few drops and it'll make them go to sleep for a few minutes while you perform needed surgery so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna twist the top off all right so I got my clove oil one two three four five six seven so I put about seven drops in there and the air stone is going to mix it into the water hopefully I didn't put too much in here I don't think I did and a lot of people will use clove oil to perform cosmetic surgeries on their arowanas, on their flower horns, on their goldfish, um, mainly on fish that are really expensive and when they need to like remove their scales, when they need to do some trimming on their fins, you know, just all kinds of uh, cosmetic procedures. Um, but again, once again, for my fish, we are going to be doing a cosmetic procedure where I'm removing this big old bump on my baby tarpon's face and I'm excited also a little nervous I'm going to mix this around for a few minutes you definitely don't want to rush this you want to take your time and that's what I'm doing right now I want to make sure that everything is mixed in before I put my tarpon in here I've also turned off the AC and the fan in my apartment just to make sure the temperature in this room is not fluctuating too much now just a disclaimer guys, there is a possibility that my fish might die while making this video. I hope that's not the case. And if my fish does pass away, I'm still going to post this video. Because there has been cases where people will use clove oil and their fish don't wake back up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my fish in here and as soon as I see him turn over on his side, I'm taking him out. Alright guys, here we go. I'm going to be taking him out of the aquarium now. And I really hope everything goes well. So I got him in the net. So for right now, ooh, 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 ooh. So as you can see, this guy's a jumper.
Alright, so I got them like that. So we're going to go ahead, put them in the container right now. There we go. Now as soon as he passes out, all right, so it looks like he's already he's already being dazed. I know he's still a little jumpy. Just wait for him to pass out. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. You don't want to be in there too long. Come on. Wow, you're a tough fish. All right, he's still flexing his muscles, so he's still awake. Again, patience is the key for this. You want to make sure everything goes smooth. All right, it looks like he's still kicking. All right, guys, so I'm getting a little worried because he's not passing out. He's just panicking a lot. I don't know if he's dying or passing out. So I'm just going to go ahead and just do the procedure without him fully passing out. I don't know if I put too little. Okay. Here we go, guys. So I think he should be fine like this. So I'm going to turn him over. And there's the uh, mole right there or whatever you want to call it so we're gonna go ahead cut that bad boy I hope he doesn't and it's done I got it. All right. Well, I didn't get it all, but shit. Hold on. Let's see. Alright guys, so that's about as much as I can get. So I'm going to go ahead and put him back into the aquarium. Alright, so he's still moving. I think he's going to be okay. He just uh, needs to get his breath. He just needs to catch his breath now. He did inhale a lot of that clove oil. So I'm gonna give him about, so I'm gonna give him a good 10 minutes and come back to him and see how he's doing. All right guys, so it looks like he's doing okay, but that thing is still on his face. So this is actually harder than I thought because half of that thing is buried deep into his skin or scales and his skin is pretty tough so the scissors that I was using it wasn't too effective so I found another tool that I can use and also I feel like I didn't put enough clove oil into that container so I'm gonna go ahead and try this again I'm gonna add some more clove oil in there to make sure that he's heavily knocked out and I'm gonna try to dig deep underneath his skin Hopefully this will work. Again, guys, I know I'm not doing everything correctly here. I've never done this before. If you see any mistakes that I'm doing, leave that in the comments so anybody else that wants to learn from this video can learn from your comment. Leave some helpful tips down in the comment section and also point out all the things that I did wrong because I'm pretty sure I did a few things wrong, maybe more than a few. Just point it out in a nice way so that way you can help me and you can help the other people that want to do what I'm doing in this video. So again, let's go ahead and add some more clove oil into the container and try it again.
Alright guys, so I just have to put a lid on him real quick, just in case he try to jump. Alright, looks like he's calming down again. Looks like this time it's going to put him to sleep, hopefully. Yeah, it looks like he's passing out. Come on, bud. Go to sleep. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, so it looks like he. All right, so it looks like we're good to go. Looks like we're ready to perform surgery again. This time, let's hope that we are successful. Gotta flip him over. All right, guys. So whatever this is, it's not, it's not coming off. So I'm going to just put him back into the aquarium. I don't want to risk killing him. I'm gonna put him underneath this uh, filter where there's some surface agitation going on. Hopefully, yep, yeah, he's waking up now. I feel his muscles tensing up. Alright. Looks like he's going to be okay. I feel him tensing up. I, I dosed a lot of clove oil in there. So, uh, I feel him moving. You can see his mouth moving now. I'm just going to keep moving him back and forth. Very gently and slowly. Get some water moving through his gills or some oxygen. And the angelfish are attacking me right now. They're being very tutorial. Alright, so he's starting to move on his own. Alright, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Wake up. Wake up. Alright, yeah, he's starting to move a lot now. I feel it. Come on, buddy. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. You got this, you got this. Uh, I know I put you through a lot just now, but come on. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. And these angelfish, they're nipping at me, which is not helping whatsoever. Ow. Come on, buddy. Snap out of it. Oh. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Now you're just gasping for air. But I wasn't able to get that thing off of his face, man. Whatever that is, it's, it's in there pretty good. 
I tried to get it out and it wasn't coming out. That thing is uh, pretty much attached to his mouth. All right, so it looks like he's doing okay. All right, guys, so I got the majority of it right here. You guys can barely see it, though. All right, guys, so I got the majority of it right here on my finger. You guys can barely see it. But it's the best that I could do. I tried digging into that thing and it would not come off. He's still a little hazy right now, but he's going to recover. He's going to do really good. And uh, this was my unsuccessful attempt of getting rid of that mole looking thing on his face. Um, now all I have to do is just watch him and make sure a infection does not incur, occur uh, with this guy, which... I don't think will happen as long as I do regular water changes with this guy I think I'll be good so this is just a lesson for me you know don't try to fix something that's not broken I should have just left him alone instead I feel like I just caused him unnecessary stress and I feel really bad and I don't want to ever put my fish through this again I love my tarpon and I know a lot of you guys enjoy seeing him and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video uh, leave some tips down in the comment section down below of what I could have done better. Leave some tips for other people viewing this video that want to do this for their fish. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and bye bye.